okay now what is pmi acp so pm i am sure you most of you would know that pmi uh, uh, is project management institute which for from which we already have uh, one of the most famous or one of the most uh, asked certifications pmp uh, pmi uh, where pmp focuses more on the high, uh, higher level of project management what is project management as whole uh, pmi acp only focuses on agile principle practices and tools and techniques right it will this certification talks from uh, what is agile how do you implement various methodologies of agile uh, it it gives you everything it tells you how as a scrum master as, a, as an agile coach how you can mentor and coach your teams and once your teams are agile ready they start implementing agile how you can improvise them so it so it's it's an end to end certification which will talk about all the methodologies under the agile umbrella like scrum xp dsdm kanban lean it will talk about all those principles and uh, methodologies it will talk about all the frameworks which are available under agile it will talk you how you can how you can mentor and coach your teams it will give you communication skills how you can resolve the conflicts and then once everything is in place how you uh, start tailoring your processes and you improve your teams right so in the, uh pmi acp is a complete certification in itself so one of the questions which i had is um, after csm should i go for pmi acp yes csm is a very basic certification in my uh, in my uh, in my eye because csm only focuses on one part of agile that's scrum whereas pmi acp covers the bigger umbrella it talks about everything it will talk about lean it will talk about kanban it will talk about scrum it will talk about test driven development behavior driven development it will talk about everything right it will also tell you how as a coach you should uh, get into people people management how do you tackle conflicts but csm does not talk about all those things so csm is a very basic certification which will only talk about scrum whereas acp is a bigger umbrella it will cover all the areas of agile okay but yes pmi acp from the agile perspective pmi acp is more focused around the team level agile whereas uh, it will not talk about implementation of agile at enterprise and a portfolio level okay so pmi acp is more from a team level agile clear any questions on this pmi acp are you clear okay let's move ahead uh, to appear for pmi acp you need to have 2000 hours of journal project experience and 1500 hours of agile project experience so you need to showcase total 3500 hours hours of experience out of which 2000 hours should be journal project experience and 1500 hours should be agile project experience you also need to have 21 pdus pdus is nothing but the professional development uh, unit so one pdu is equal to one hour of training the pmi acp certificate uh, training that ajureka provides since ajureka is an rep will give you the needed 121 hours of pdu this this training course is for uh, 24 hours which is spread across uh, uh, eight weekends and is almost 24 3 hours each weekend uh, each each day so you uh, so so this training will give you the needed 21 hours and it will talk about all the 11 13 modules which pmi acp has okay so uh, also there are 11 recommended books which are given uh, which are uh, listed down by pmi and they are known as reference materials so if you go go to pmi.org you can see the list of those books but as a recommendation or as agile coach my recommendation is if you go through the training of ajureka and you just read even one book right one book which is my griffith it is more than sufficient if you are very regular with the training sessions this training is very extensive the 
uh, the study material which Edureka offers, there are three mock tests, so it is more than enough for you to clear the MIACP certification and to un understand agile concepts. Okay. And this certification is only valid for three years. After three years, you need to go through, uh, you need to submit 30 PDUs to get this certification renewed. Okay, so uh, the cost of this certification is almost $495, right? And you can appear for this uh, certification at any Prometric Center, right? So this certification is only valid for three years. Uh, from 15th of July, starting 15th of July, the PMI ACP exam pattern is getting changed. Just in case if you're planning to appear before it, uh, you will have to get enrolled yourself at the current uh, batch of the PMI ACP uh, training which is going on. Post 15th of July, the exam pattern is getting changed. So till 15th of, uh, 15th of September, uh, it will undergo into a pilot, uh, pilot phase. So as of now, there is no clear guidelines on what, what changes PMI is doing with the exam pattern. The current pattern uh, which will be valid till 15th of July is the objective pattern for uh, under which you get 120 questions and only 100 questions are marked. 20 questions are the uh, warm-up kind of questions. Right. So this pattern, as I'll repeat, is only valid till 15th of July. As of now, uh, I do not have a clear idea on what is the pattern uh, new. What would be the new pattern for that? I need some time. Um, and uh, this pattern will be in a pilot phase till 15th of September. Uh, when you register yourself at PMI website, or, uh, PMI website, there is a good a complete four five page form. So it asks you to justify your 2500 uh, project hours. So it will ask you about the project details, company name. It will ask you about the supervisor details as well, number, contact number, and what did you do in those projects. So this is a complete five page form which you have to fill. Uh, once you fill the form, submit the form, uh, it goes for review with PMI, it, which is a 10 to 12 day process. If there is some doubt which PMI guys have, they might uh, take your form for the audit where they will ask you to send the hard copy of the of your firm uh, signed and attested by the supervisors and the manager's name you have specified in your uh, forms. So please make sure whenever you fill that form, the information that is given in form is completely legible and completely correct. So just in case if you get, uh, just so in case if you get stuck at audit, you are able to justify those. You don't need a letter till the time you get stuck in an audit. You just need to fill the form. Uh, the form has project name, company, the details which form has company details, project details, project description, manager's name and manager's contact details. Okay. Okay, so one uh, confusion I think uh, even you guys have that do you need to be PMP certified or do you uh, if you are or maybe you are in two minds should you go for PMP or PMI ACP certified ACP certification. So as I mentioned earlier as well PMP is a broader set of uh, uh, broader set which talks about the concepts of project manager project management in general it does not focus on uh, a, any specific terminologies like either agile or maybe uh, waterfall or maybe v model it talks about the journal concepts of project management. So even if you are not planning to stick to software industry, if you're not from software industry and you are doing some kind of project management, you can still go for PMP. But PMI ACP is more from a sort of agile point of view. So if you are into a software industry and your projects are either planning to move towards agile or maybe um, you are already working in agile. You do not need to be either a project manager or something. Even a development or a testing professional can get in do PMI ACP. Uh, if you don't intend to become an agile coach, in this, even in that case, PMI ACP is certification for you because it will help you understand agile in a better way. And as a team member, as an individual individual person, you can you can contribute better. 
right so pmp is certification is for people who are into hardcore project management or who are not uh, deep into how teams are performing they are they are just into stakeholder interaction and they are not interacting with teams on the daily basis pmp is for those people while pmi acp is for people who are doing both stakeholder management and are interacting with teams and they are involved in day to day working of teams right um this is more about the uh, uh, in nutshell this is the major difference between a pm pmp and pmi acp i'll request you to please go through the ppt just in case if you have any question please ask me please go through the differences which are listed down in the ppt though you will also have the copy of this ppt and also this webinar with you but just in case if you have question uh, please feel free to ask me after you go through this ppt uh ajureka support will share this ppt and the link to this video uh, where this webinar is stored and you guys can see that ajureka uh, support team would share the uh, link with you after the webinar is over uh so there are 11 reference books which are listed down you can go down uh, go to at pmi.org and go through all those books okay uh, but one book that i recommend is mike griffith i'll just type the name for all okay mike griffith is a book having said that but you still need to have 21 pdus even if you have read that book you still need to have 21 pdus in or in order to give this certification okay let's go ahead okay so once you are through your pmi acp certification you have you have registered yourself you have applied for the date you have paid the 495 fees of 495 dollar and you have appeared for the exam this is a kind of a certificate that you get from pmi acp all you get is you have cleared the exam when did you clear and when it is due for renewal uh the exam results are based on uh, the three levels of proficiency ag- across six domains which are defined uh, in the pmi acp curriculum so and after once you are done with it you are you would you can you are eligible for applying for scrum master uh, even if you are a technical guy you are eligible for uh, Uh, handling the agile architectural way i mean uh, you would understand how as a arc or maybe as a uh, technical person how your design or architecture evolves around the uh, in agile methodologies so you would even as a testing professional you would know how testing should be carried out in a agile way so after this certification all the people from different fields would be able to do so uh so as i mentioned uh, if you re- plan to go enroll to the uh, website of ajureka for the certification uh, you would have live and interactive sessions from the the, the trainer conducted sessions would be there and you have lifetime access to all the training material and three mock tests and the session test which are given there uh, you have 24 by 7 uh, technical support even if after the Uh, training is over if you have any kind of doubts you can feel free to uh, reach out to the support team and we will make sure that all your questions are answered um and then you again you get your 21 uh, 21 pdus in case if you if you have appeared for the pmi acp certification and you need 30 pdus for renewal ajureka conduct keep conducting various webinars from which you can uh, get one pdu so using those P, uh, webinars you can earn pdus okay um just in case if you have more questions please feel free to reach out to ajureka and or maybe you can connect with me my name is shuchi singla you can just connect with me over the linkedin and i will be and ajureka and i will be more than happy to answer those questions um i'll give you 5 minutes 5 more minutes just in case if you have questions please feel free to type in and i'll be, i'll be more than happy to answer them <laughs> 